Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do bacon-wrapped shrimp on the grill. I've got a sweet and spicy apricot glaze that's gonna go on at the end. It's also gonna be a really great dipping sauce we're gonna serve these with. You know, football season's right around the corner. You gotta start brushing up on those tailgating recipes, and this one will be great for it. Let's get to cooking. So the shrimp we're using today for this recipe came from my local grocery store. They were froze, they were like 13, 15 count shrimp per pound, so that's really big shrimp. They had the shell on. So, you know, I brought them home, let them thaw out, and then I peeled the shell, but I wanted to leave the bottom part where the tail is still attached. That gives you something to hold on to. It's gonna be kind of our fork for this recipe. Now I wanna take a sharp knife and just kind of make a shallow cut and butterfly that shrimp open. You wanna be careful and not cut all the way through it. This is gonna let us stuff it later on. Now this recipe is gonna cook fast on the grill because it doesn't take shrimp long. So we can't put uncooked bacon on there. You wanna go ahead and pre-cook it a little bit. It's real simple, just line a sheet pan with foil, lay the bacon out on it, pop it in your oven on about 400 degrees for 10 minutes. It'll still be nice and soft, but it'll go ahead and cook it most of the way through. And this is gonna help it brown up when we get it on the grill. So now that we have all that prep work out of the way, I'm ready to go ahead and get my grill fired up so it can be heating up. I'm using my PK360 today, and I'm setting it up for a two zone fire. So first we need a charcoal chimney full of hot coals. I'm just using some good Royal Oak Chef Select charcoal and a couple wax starter cubes to get the fire going. It'll take about 15 minutes. Now for the two zone fire, we wanna spread coal out on each side of the PK grill. And if you're cooking along on another grill, you can do the exact same thing. We're just creating a void space in the middle and that's where we're gonna cook. Our heat's gonna come from the sides and it's gonna radiate all over the grill. That's what's creating that two zone cooking. So get the lid closed on the grill and let it come up to 375, 400 range. It's gonna be good indirect heat. It's gonna be perfect for grilling off these bacon wrapped shrimp. Now I wanna mix up the stuffing for these shrimp that we're gonna to grill today. And I'm using some cream cheese that I've just let come to room temperature to make them extra special. We've got some good lump crab meat. You need about four ounces of crab meat in there. Then we're gonna add some green onion, some fresh garlic, and you know I gotta have a little bit of heat. So I'm adding about a tablespoon of sriracha sauce. It's gonna give it spice, it's gonna give it color. It's gonna bring all these flavors together. You just wanna use a fork, stir it and combine it. It's really easy if the cream cheese has come up to room temperature, it's real soft. So now we're ready to assemble these bacon wrapped shrimp. And I've got a couple of my small cooling racks, I call them chicken racks. And I just wanna get some cooking spray on them so the shrimp don't stick. This is what we're gonna cook them on so we don't have to flip them around too much. So you just wanna take our shrimp that we butterflied Put a little bit of that cream cheese and crab mixture that we spiced up. Should look just like that. We're gonna take a piece of our bacon that we've pre-cooked a little bit so it's still flexible, but it's gonna brown up real nice on the grill. We're just gonna wrap it right over it. Place it right on our rack. All right, so we've got all our shrimp stuffed with that cream cheese and crab mixture. We've got them wrapped in our bacon on our racks. Now we're ready to go on the grill. So let's just carry them over to the grill. All right, our PK360 is good and hot. We're ready to get these shrimp on the grill. And I'm just gonna set our rack right on the grate. It's gonna give us room to set both of them. Shrimp gonna be looking good. Now since we've already pre-cooked our bacon, we're only gonna need a few minutes. It doesn't take shrimp long to cook at all on a grill. We're just gonna keep an eye on them. The bacon's gonna start to brown up and we see that shrimp start to turn kind of opaque, whitish pink color. That's when we're gonna to wanna to get our glaze on. Let's go get our glaze mixed up, warmed up a little bit, be there to brush it on in just a few minutes. Keep watching. Now for my sweet and spicy apricot glaze, I started with some apricot preserves, about half a cup of water, some rice vinegar, then I had to get some garlic chili sauce in there to really give it some good flavor, some spice. Put a little bit of fresh chopped garlic in there and then we just reduced it down until it just became this thick sauce. And I kind of divided it in half because I want to serve part of it with a dipping sauce. But we're going to brush the rest right over the shrimp as it's on the grill. All right, our shrimp's been cooking about eight minutes. Now we want to get that sweet and spicy apricot glaze on it. The bacon's looking good. You can see how the tails are starting to get real pink. That's how I know it's starting to get done. And I just want to brush on some of this sweet and spicy glaze. I mean, these look amazing. I can't wait to try one. God, I love the way the bacon's all brown. The cream cheese filling stayed right inside. Sweet and spicy sauce is gonna just tie it all together. 
All right, that's what I call glazed bacon wrapped shrimp right there. Those look awesome. They're not quite done. I want to let this glaze sit for just a few minutes. It's not going to take long, you know, two minutes tops. We don't want those shrimp to overcook. So just close the lid, let it sit. Then we're going to get them off, get them over to the cut board because I can't wait to try one. All right, two quick minutes. All that glaze needed to sit. We're going to be ready to get these shrimp off. Wear some heat resistant gloves, please, because they're going to get hot. But check that out. That is beautiful. Bacon wrap, crab cream cheese stuff, sweet and sour apricot glaze. God, if that doesn't say good at tailgate, I don't know what does. I can't wait to try one. Let's get them over to the cutting board. All right, so I've got all these bacon wrap shrimp plattered up here, serving them with that remaining apricot glaze. It's gonna be an awesome dipping sauce. And this recipe was really easy. Real quick, what we did, we started with some 13, 15 large jumbo shrimp. Got the peel off of them, butterflied open a little bit. We pre-cooked our bacon. That way it would brown up real nice. We mixed up that cream cheese, crab meat, a little sriracha. Of course, you had some garlic and green onion in it. Got that stirred up ahead of time. Stuffed those shrimp, wrapped them, got them on our racks to make it easy to grill, get back and forth. Spray the rack down so that bacon doesn't stick and get it on a hot grill. PK360 did its job with a indirect heat fire on each end of the grill, void in the center. That's that empty space where we were cooking. Let's that heat come around, really cook the shrimp and the bacon. It's a fast cook. Eight minutes tops, glazed it with that sweet and spicy apricot glaze. And then we served it with the rest. And hey, if that ain't football food, I don't know what is. It's gonna be perfect for tailgates. Or anytime you want a good appetizer, I'm gonna try one of these. Mm. Dynamite. That's perfect. Shrimp's cooked just right, still tender and moist. The bacon around it's brown. It's got some great smoky flavor. The cream cheese, you know, it brings a richness to it. And you pick up that crab meat in it. It's a little spicy. And then we put that glaze on it that really makes it good. Hey, thanks for checking out the video today here at How to Barbecue Right. Subscribe to our channel and it'll let you know when we put out new stuff. We're going to be putting it out every week. You can also send the questions and comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love those and we try to answer all of them. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out our videos today. How are they? I couldn't help myself. <laughs>